Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard, and today guys we are back playing some Mad Pack. Um, today is pretty cool. We are going to start using some force. I know I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to make a force wrench, and now we can finally do that. As you guys can see, I already have some, some force ingots right down here. Uh, in order to get the force ingots, it's actually pretty easy. If you take these uh, force gems right here, and then you just take iron ingots and put them on both sides like this, boom that gives you force ingots so that's pretty much how we make the force ingots and it's uh, definitely pretty cool so uh, um, to start this thing out we we've are uh, we're gonna make our wrench so in order to make the wrench we need to have um, some some gears here so let's uh, let's show you I'll show you what I mean so this is gonna be the total um, thing for the wrench it's uh, two it's three force ingots and a force gear in order to get the gears you have to start out with a wood gear and to make the wood gear it's uh, pretty it's pretty easy you just start out with the sticks here um, and we're gonna make a couple more sticks like so and you basically just start it out like this so you take you throw sticks in all in like in a diamond shape right there that gives you a wooden gear then to upgrade it to a cobblestone gear, you just do the same thing and you throw the cobblestone around the outside. Then to make it a force one, you basically just throw the uh, force ingots around the outside of that. That'll give you a force gear. Now to actually make the, the wrench, uh, you just throw the force gear in the center. You threw, use three, ink, three uh, force ingots right there, and boom, we got a wrench. Now, uh, the, the wrench is, is best if it's uh, filled up with some energy. So if we select the wrench here, and then we push uh, F, the F key, uh, then you can just take your bucket of force right here, and you can throw it in there. Otherwise, this thing, can it use, I can't use the ingots, but I know it can actually use... Um, and let's make sure we don't select it. It can use these uh, force gems. And because we have so many of these force gems, um, it's definitely a huge plus. So let's go ahead and select the wrench again. And then just hit F. And then we can throw all these uh, forged gem those forged gems in there. And boom, right there we got it. So uh, this, is, this is definitely pretty cool. Now the next thing that we're going to make is called, uh, we're going to make some little ingots here. Um, some force nuggets, I should say. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to make a rod. So you, you use one of these, you use, you use one nugget, you use one iron ingot, just like this. And boom, this gives you a force rod. And the force rod's actually pretty cool. I'm going to run up to my tree farm and uh, show you guys how that works. So hang tight, guys. We'll be back in a moment. Hey, guys, we are back. And uh, I just slept through the night, so it would be daytime when we got outside. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how this works. It's actually pretty pretty awesome So this uh, we made a tree farm up here. This used to be the uh, boathouse and uh, I, Yeah, I kind of switched it up as you guys can uh, tell a little bit there So uh, we're gonna chuck down some trees if you hold down shift and you're ch cutting down the trunk Boom it brings out everything hold down shift again and hit the leaves and It will do the exact same thing just like that so it's, uh, it's definitely pretty cool. Um, it uses up the axe uh, quite a bit, so we'll just use our hand this time. If we can, we should be able to. Come on, are you are you tweaking on me? Okay, yeah, it must have been just tweaking on me a little bit. Well, do I have to? No, that should work. Uh, maybe maybe I do need to have uh, an axe of some sort to use that. Let's, uh, let's, make, let's craft ourselves an, a uh, an axe real quick. Piece of cake to do. Just do, uh, you know, make some more sticks. So we'll, we definitely have plenty of sticks. So let's uh, go ahead and make ourselves just a couple of axes. And just like this, make an iron one. And uh, one should be fine for now. Now let's try that again. Hold down shift with the axe. There we go. That takes care of everything. There we go. See how nice that is? You don't have to sit there and cut down the entire thing. It just kind of vanishes for you so uh, that's that's a huge plus and the reason that I'm getting rid of all these is because I want to show you guys how this actually how this is gonna work out for us so I do have some seeds in here I'm pretty sure I still have some uh, come on quit tweaking quit tweaking man 
So uh, we still have some oak saplings in here. And the thing that's really cool is we can turn these into force trees. So all you simply do is you throw down your sapling, you use your uh, force rod here, and you right click on it, and boom, all of a sudden, you have a force tree. Um, so yes, this, this dark craft is definitely really, really cool. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm fine, I'm glad that I'm using it. Oh, so it uses, it used some of that energy. Okay, well that's cool, so that, that makes sense. So then it just probably turns into a shard, doesn't it? Yeah, it just turns into a force shard. Okay, well that's cool. That's understandable. So, uh, yes, that's how you make the uh, force trees. And then um, I'm going to figure out what to do next. Uh, this force wrench is really cool. We're going to probably take a little ride over to the pirate ship right there. And I'm going to show you guys some more really awesome things that this uh, force wrench can do. So hang tight, guys. We will be back in a moment. Hey, guys, we are back. And uh, so we used oak saplings to turn these into some force uh, saplings. And it also works on the uh, birch wood trees as well. So uh, one of the cool things that um, I've gotten all kinds of these force shards. And what I mentioned last time, the force shards, uh, I was wondering what they were used for. But I've now found out. So if you hit F while you have your uh, force rod in your hand, if you hit F right there you can actually throw these force rods in there to get to to fully load it up i wonder if we we can do that with the uh with the wrench as well let's see if we can do that same type of thing does that work uh, i don't i don't know that that part works but at any rate it's uh still pretty cool but uh, once again, we're just going to take our saplings right here and we're using birch this time. I'm pretty sure it works on just about any sapling, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I'm guessing it probably does. Uh, that's just my guess. So we're going to have ourselves a whole nice little forest tree farm over here. And uh, it's definitely pretty cool because with using the, the forest tree farm, once these things uh, mature and you cut them down, then the saplings that you get back, are actually for saplings so it's so it's pretty cool so you can just keep on going and going and going and get more force logs um, which can be better sticks and then you can you, you can just do all kinds of things with it so let's run over to my boat and we are gonna cruise over to that pirate ship and I'm gonna show you some more uses for this uh, for this um, uh, force wrench here so let's just uh, push this into the water and jump on oh let's outrun this guy and out of our way and we're gonna cruise right over to the pirate ship over here um, because I think I'm pretty sure there's gonna be spawners in here and hopefully there isn't a whole lot of baddies on there um, let's hope not because I believe there's all kinds of spawners which uh, then we can use for um, we're just gonna slow up so our boat doesn't exactly break on us so if we need to get a quick getaway we can and see if we can place it while we're sitting in the boat that would be kind of cool wouldn't it all right that works so then we can just hop off right here, climb up the ladder, and uh, right down here is going to be all kinds of spawners. So looks like we have a cave spider spawner, a skeleton spawner, a blaze spawner, and another blaze spawner. And then there's another spawner back here and another one back there. So to start this off, what we're going to do is we are just going to simply, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be another um, spawner right below this as well. So as soon as we uh, drop that water, what the water will do is it will dump all that water down there. So it will kind of, ooh, it looks like a creeper one. So now if we use our force, whoa, hello. Whoa, that skeleton scared me. Uh, sorry, guys, I didn't mean to yell in your ear there. Uh, that pretty well freaked me out. How in the world did you get up here? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh, boy, I might have to, uh, I might have to turn down the... The clip at that point because boy that seemed that was probably a little loud for you guys I'm sorry we're gonna break out the glass and then if we if you shift if you hold down shift while you're uh, right clicking on the mob spawners it actually picks them up so I'm just essentially just going to remove all these guys right now and uh, I think I wonder if I have my magnet on turn magnet on there we go so it automatically sucked them up to us so we don't even have to go down there that's awesome and then there's gonna be another one I think it's right back here 
I believe. Oh, there's a skeleton. Hey, Mr. Skeleton. Yeah, take some of that. And we're going to do the same thing. Shift, right click. Magnet should kick in. And then there should be one more on the other side as well. And then, guess what, guys? We have then conquered this pirate ship. And we got a whole lot of spawners in the process, which means we can make ourselves mob spawner. <laughs> yes, I'm completely stoked about that. Uh, are you out of energy or something? Why aren't you grabbing it? Oh, okay. That's not cool. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh, that's one of them infernal ones. Uh-oh. Goodness. Oh, shucks. Well, that was a complete and utter drag. Let's respawn. And I wonder if I can use my map to go back to this point. I think if you click on it and you if you click on it once and you hit T, the T key, yep, it spawns you right over there. So uh, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So did I get all of my stuff back? I'm not sure if I got everything back, but uh, we'll see. Let's uh, just make sure we block this this thing up. That's how you're gonna be. So let's go ahead and use some of this smooth stone, and let's just block off the water out here there we go that works now we should be able to climb up and let's look to make sure there's nothing around we can should be able to climb up one more time and there's that spawner still sitting there so let's try why am I not able to take that thing no oh, there we go I just had to get a little bit closer it seems like Alright, and because I don't feel like hanging around in here. Okay, so we got a skeleton spawner. What thing don't I need? I don't need gravel. So let's uh, use our dirt. And uh, let's use that dirt to kind of get the heck out of here and head back home. We'll just, uh, we'll just uh, escape this way. Lock up that way. Boom. Just like so. Our boat. You still out there, boat? There's our boat right there. Good. And now we will just uh, cruise back home. And it's 4.49 right now. So uh, that means it's going to be dark pretty soon. Hey, cool horses. That's awesome. So let's cruise back to our base. And then uh, we're going to go from there. Because there's a couple other cool things that I want to... Well, I know there's one more cool thing that I want to show you with this uh, wrench for sure. Um, and then we will take hey it Hey guys, there. we are back. And uh, here's the other thing that I want to show you guys with this force wrench. So let's say you're running around. Um, you know, you come across the dungeons. You come across uh, the um, like the mob areas, the all that kind of stuff where you can where you can pick up the spawners not only can you pick up the spawners but you can also do it the same way with the chest so if there's stuff in the chest and you don't have room down here simply just put a bunch of stuff in the chest hold down shift with your force wrench and boom you select it and what you can do with that is once you have your chest so now guess what we got two chests here okay so now that we have two chests, you can also throw those two chests inside that chest. And then guess what, guys? You can now do the same thing with that. And it has everything in there. Then once again, we're full. So let's go ahead and throw this chest inside there and uh, do it once again. And boom, we now have the chest. So now if we look at all inside of all these chests, everything is going to stay in there. So, you know, you can select this stuff out of there, and then you can take uh, this other chest right there. You can select that stuff out of there, and then you can take your next chest and do the same thing. So it's uh, definitely pretty cool. So then, because we already had this chest in there, so that leaves us with uh, one more chest to check out, right? So we can throw this chest down right there. And we can get that stuff out too. So it's uh, definitely an easy way to collect all those inventories, especially when you're going on mining operations. So it works on the chests, it works on the spawners, um, it works on bookshelves. So if you're running around and you wanna you wanna collect the bookshelves, 
you can just do the same thing with the bookshelf and it's uh it's definitely pretty cool so you don't have to because usually if you take out the bookshelf it usually um it usually you know turns into books and then you have to basically recraft the thing again but it, i mean it's basically silk touch that's what this uh force what this force wrench is all about it's pretty much uh it's pretty much just like silk touch so if you guys can think of silk touch it's the same type of concept same type of idea and it's definitely pretty cool that you can put chess within chess within chess within chess especially when you're going out and you're looking around you know those abandoned mine shafts and all that um, with all the chests and all the spawners and everything so it's definitely pretty cool but guys I think the video is pretty good at this point so I think I'm gonna call it good uh, please let me know down in the comments if you guys still want to see some more mad pack and uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas uh, what we should do next um, I'm thinking that I will probably do some sort of mob spawner um, because or some sort of mob farm I always like doing that um, preferably I'll probably use uh, let's just look at my inventory preferably use a blaze spawner and uh, maybe a skeleton spawner because we can get the arrows and all those other goodies from them but we also have a zombie one here a cave spider one and a creeper one don't know that I'm gonna use the creeper one because that could cause some serious problems but um, at any rate guys this is pool shark wizard thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will talk to you guys next time take care and bye-bye.